broadcasting from Uptown Bill's Coffee Shop. Welcome to the Smartest Iowan. Tonight competing for the title and the t-shirt, two teams of Kirkwood Community College students. Starting with you, Team 1, tell us about yourselves. My name is Suzanne, and I'm in a developmentally psych class with Scott Gill. My name is Bailey, and I'm in the same class with her. And uh, what is your team name? We're the Developmental Divas. Developmental Divas, I like that. And uh, Team 2, tell us about yourselves. I'm Jerry, I'm a student at Kirkwood, and enrolled in a class of uh, Introduction to Psychology. My name is Ollie, I'm in the same class. I'd like to do a shout out to my sister Fran. Your sister Fran? <laughs> uh huh, she's at work right now. How's it going, Fran? Watching while we're live. And uh, what is your team name? We're the Bandanas. Bandanas, how'd you come up with that? We just had dinner. Good. So Good you two teams know how the game works by now. We've got three rounds. Rounds one and two each questions were 10 points each. Round three, our final Iowa round, each questions were 20 points each. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. Yes. All right, let's get it underway. Starting with you, Developmental Divas. What local television studio is located in the same building as Uptown Bill's Small Mall? PATV. That is correct, yes. And uh, Bandana's question one for you. What PATV show is taping an episode as we speak at Uptown Bills? Smartest Iowa? You sure? <laughs> <laughs> that is correct, yes. <laughs> fool you anymore. <laughs> Gotta get at least that one. All right, so question two for the developmental divas. What wintry precipitation should not be eaten if it's yellow? Snow. <laughs> snow is correct. Boy, the yellow snow. All right, bandanas. Question two. Despite its name, what Smirnoff malt beverage cannot become this at 32 degrees Fahrenheit due to its alcoholic content? Frozen. Frozen? I will accept that, yes. Uh, frozen or ice, both will do. Excellent job. Um, although, I guess we're saying despite its name clarify so I think that it would be incorrect actually we're looking for Smirnoff ice they don't call it Smirnoff frozen unfortunately although it might be delicious developmental divas question three for you the rumored first conversation through what invention was Mr. Watson come here I need you the rumored first conversation through what invention was Mr. Watson come here I need you. Was it the telephone? The telephone is correct, yes. Very first conversation. And uh, Bandana's question three. Pioneering the use of graphical displays, Tennis for Two is believed to be the very first what ever created. It pioneered the use of graphical displays. Tennis for Two is believed to be the very first what ever created. For a video game, video or computer game. Question four for developmental divas. What current <laughs> contender for the Republican nomination for president was once just two deaths or resignations away from actually becoming president? Newt Gingrich. Newt Gingrich is correct. Good old Newt. <laughs> and uh, bandanas, question four for you. What current contender for the Republican nomination for president is the only one to not have held office? prior to running. Kane. Herman Kane is correct. Yes. Well done. He ran for Senate, but he didn't earn the job. He's running for U.S. President. Developmental Divas, question five. What festive seven-letter word can be formed by the letters A, D, H, I, O, L, Y? You can see it displayed there. Holiday. Right Holiday is correct. <laughs> Well done. And bandanas, question five for you. What frosty seven-letter word can be formed by the letters A-M-N-N-O-S-W? Snowman. Snowman is correct. Yes. And uh, developmental divas, moving on to question six. <laughs> None of the hills on what amusement park attraction can be taller than the first due to said attraction's reliance on the gravity? Roller coasters? Roller coasters, yes. Yes, good job. Excellent. 
Do you guys like riding on roller coasters? Absolutely. Love them. <laughs> scared out of my mind. Yes. <laughs> All right, bandanas. Question six. What other popular amusement park ride would often feature a golden ring for riders to grab in order to receive a prize? I have not known this. Uh, what popular amusement park ride would often feature a golden ring for riders to grab a hold of? in order to receive a prize. Carousel? Carousel, yes. Well done, yes. Except carousel or merry-go-round. And uh, question seven for developmental divas right here. What horror movie icon provided the voice of the narrator in the holiday special How the Grinch Stole Christmas. We guessed Freddy Krueger. Actually, we're looking for Boris Karloff. Oh, <laughs> good friend Boris. All right, bandanas, question seven. Thurl Ravenscroft, the singer of You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, also provided the voice of what serial icon? Earl Ravenscroft, the singer of You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, also provided the voice for what serial icon? You try. Tony the Tiger? That is correct, yes. Good old Tony the Tiger. You're doing great. If we were in Mexico right now, it'd be Zucaritas. <laughs> Question eight for developmental divas. The name of what dinosaur species means roof lizard or covered lizard? Dinosaur species means roof lizard or covered lizard. We don't know. Looking for Stagosaurus. 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 And uh, bandanas. The name Triceratops comes from the Greek words tri, meaning three, charis, meaning horn, and ops, meaning what? Tri means three. Charis means horn, and ops means what? Or triceratops. Head. Head? Saying head, and uh, the answer I'm giving is face, and I will accept that, yes. I will accept head. Close enough for me. So, the Velvet of Viva is question nine. What Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale's original Dutch title is Princessen Pa Erten? What Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale's original Dutch title is Princess on Pa Ayrton. Princess and the P. Is it Princess and the P? The Princess and the P is correct. Yes. Very well done. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> bandanas, question nine for you. Another difficult question. What other Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale's original Dutch title is Den Lil Hefjur? Tale with the original Dutch title Den Lille And uh, question 10 for the developmental divas. This is your last question, question of the round, your most Clutch. difficult question. In yep. Icosahedron has 20 faces. How many vertices does an Icosahedron have? An Icosahedron has 20 faces. How many vertices do they have? Sure. 
20. Actually, 12. <laughs> 12. In the bandanas, your final question of the round, your most difficult question. How many edges does an icosahedron have? So it has 12 vertices. So let's call that a hint. 12. 30. <laughs> It wasn't a good hand. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that wraps up our round. And it's time for our viewer question of the week. So get your phones ready, viewers. Bill Sector, from whom Uptown Bills is named, would often entertain others by playing this musical instrument. Give us a call, 319-338-8456. You're watching The Smartest Iowan from Uptown Bills Copy House. And uh, we'll be right back after this break. Question of the week is uh, Bill Sector, for whom Uptown Bills is named, would often entertain others by playing what musical instrument? Do other view teams know? I don't know. Give us a call, 319 338 8456. And are you two teams ready to start round two? We're ready. Yeah. All right, let's get underway. Question one What actress and singer was the first woman to grace the cover and centerfold of Playboy? Not that we ever looked, mind you. <laughs> Is it A, Judy Garland, B, Marilyn Monroe, or C, your grandma? I think it's my grandma. You can put that. <laughs> and show off your answers. I see uh, Marilyn Monroe on one side and A on the other. We're looking for B, Marilyn Monroe. Question two right here. What president of the United States of America served for the shortest amount of time? Was it A, James A. Garfield, B, William Henry Harrison, or C, Zachary Taylor? Which one of these U.S. presidents served the shortest Show off your answers. See C. Taylor on one side and James Garfield on the other, and we are looking for B. William Henry <laughs> <laughs> Harrison. Everybody always forgets about him. And, uh, question three: The first high-definition television broadcast was on July 23rd, 1996. Interestingly, by W R A L TV in what city? Was it A. Raleigh, North Carolina? B. Reno, Nevada, or C, Rochester, Minnesota. This was the first HD television broadcast. Took place on July 23rd, 1996, quite some time ago. This experiment took place in what U.S. city? Was it Raleigh, Reno, or Rochester? And show us your answers. I see uh, A, Raleigh. One side and C, Rochester, Minnesota, and we're looking for A, Raleigh, North Carolina. Well done. It's Raleigh. <laughs> Question four here Which of these famous artworks was painted by Salvador Dali? A, the one with a, a haystack. Is it B, a painting of a guitarist? Clocks. Which one of these famous artworks was painted by Salvador Dali? And show us your answers. And I see C on one side and B on the other. We're looking for C, The Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali. B was the old guitarist. 
by Pablo Picasso during his blue period, and A was Haystacks by Claude Monet during his Haystack period, perhaps. Uh, question five. According to the writer Peter Yarrow, what is the true meaning of the song heard here? Peter Yarrow, what is the true meaning of the song you just heard? Was it A, anti-war sentiments, B, drug usage, or C, hardships of growing up? What does Puff the Magic Dragon actually mean? And show us your answers. C, B, drug use, B, drug use, it's hardships of growing up, people. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Magic Dragon was it? Commonly, uh, <laughs> commonly thought to be um, referencing marijuana use, it's actually about growing up. It's a children's song. <laughs> and, uh, oh, it's a children's question song. six right here. Spell the following word. Nelupot. What? what? Nelupot. Nelupot? A person who walks without shoes. How do you spell the word? Nelupot. <laughs> Walks without shoes. Say it one more time. Nellipot? Nellipot. And show us your answers. And so the developmental diva is spelled P N E L L O P O T. Very creative. Bandanas N E L O P O T. And uh, bandanas were very close. Replace that O, that o in the middle with an I, and you have Nellipot. N E L I. P-O-T, but neither teams were correct. And uh, question seven coming at you right here. While playing Yahtzee, which you may do for, in uh, Uptown Bills, perhaps on occasion, you roll three fives, a four, and a one on your second roll. If you want to achieve a Yahtzee, five of a kind, what is the probability of you doing so by re-rolling the four and the one? Go through this again. It's a tricky, tricky math question. While playing Yahtzee, you roll three fives, a four, and a one on your second roll. If you want to achieve a Yahtzee, which is five of a kind, what is the probability of you doing so by re-rolling the four and the one? You can use your uh, dry erase boards to calculate this out if you need to. going on on the developmental diva's side. Bandanas, they may have their answer already. I can't quite see it. <laughs> what is the probability of you rolling a five of the kind? Five of the kind by replacing the four and the one. And I'll give you two teams five seconds to scribble out some sort of an answer. And Bandanas? Show them off. And I see 136th on one side, 212th would be 1 over 6 on the other. And uh, the Vamental Divas, I'll give it to you 1 in 36 is the correct answer. <laughs> Interestingly, I, I saw their answer, the Vamental Divas, and they ha also had 1 over 6. So, a last minute thought. Little, yeah. little bit of time. I'm like, wait a minute. Help them out. And uh, question eight. Now draw a fish of the genus Hippocampus, which is known for the males of the species, to brood the young. Oh, gosh. Uh, just draw a fish. 
draw fish of the genus Hippocampus, which is known for the males of the species through the young. Give you five seconds to do a fantastic drawing. And show them off. And I see a creative little, what do you call that? Seahorse. Seahorse? Looks like a goose. <laughs> Looks like a swan a little bit. Oh, no, a seahorse. Tail. Yep, just need that. Yeah. <laughs> and on this side, I see a flamingo. A no. <laughs> I see, <laughs> I see also a seahorse on this side. And uh, let's see a drawing of what we are trying to produce here. A seahorse. Oh, Both names are absolutely right. correct. <laughs> oh, either way. Do just fine. And question nine is time for our winner's question of the week. Let's see what last week's winner has for you right here. Check it out. I'm Ruth. And I'm Casey. And we are last week's winner of the Smartest Iowan. And here is your winner's question. Who is the guest speaker for Scott Gill's psychology classes? You've met him a few times by now, I'm sure. And Scott Gill, oh <laughs> Scott Gill's psychology Scott. class, he has a guest speaker that comes in occasionally. Those of you who watch uh, PATV Channel 18 are sure to recognize this individual. He's a host of Access Iowa City on PATV Channel 18. And uh, show us your answers. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> it's on the tip of my tongue. Let's see. Sorry on one side. Jeff, Jeff. on the other. We're looking for <laughs> Keith Ruff. Keith Ruff. <laughs> Go to a key. Yes. In uh, question 10 right here, it's our movie oh, question of the week. Gosh. Write down the full name of the film seen in this clip right here. And when they finally pulled the driver's body, from the twisted, burning wreck, it looked like this. <laughs> yes, sir. That was the worst accident I ever seen. I get off right up here. And what is the name of the movie we just saw a clip from right there? Show him. Off. See Pee Wee Herman's Great Adventure, and I see Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Pee Wee's Big, Big Adventure, Adventure is absolutely correct. Well done, bandanas. And that had. is round two. Come back for round three, our final aisle round, right after this break. It's time for the final Iowa round. How well do our two teams know their Iowa? We have the score presented right here. It is a very close team oh, yeah. game right now. <laughs> One of these teams will leave with the smartest Iowan t-shirt. And uh, developmental divas, what popular child actor of the 1930s and the 1940s portrayed Uptown Bill's founder, Bill Sachter, in the Emmy-winning TV movie, Bill? And as a hint, you can look at the... Uh, photograph on the wall behind us. <laughs> uh, Andy Rooney. Saying Andy Rooney? Andy Rooney? No! We are looking for Mickey Rooney. Oh, <laughs> Mickey Rooney. Oh. And bandanas, question one for you. Shit. Bill Sector's guardian, Barry Morrow, used his experience with Bill to write a screenplay for what 1988 Best Picture winner? Winner of Best Picture at the Academy Awards in 1988, based on Barry Morrow's screenplay about Bill Sachter. Don't know. It's not photographed above. Uh, <laughs> Rain Man, the movie Rain Man, and moving quickly now, because of its abundance in the state, the Iowa State Legislature named what tree the official state tree in 1961? State tree. I'll give you five seconds. Oak is correct. Oh, yes. Well done. 
Also, due to its well-known presence in southeastern portion of the state, what rock has been named the official state rock of Iowa? Five seconds for you as well. Limestone. Actually, the geode. Limestone is an excellent guess, but geode. Rock, but considered a state rock, according to Iowans. And uh, question three for the developmental divas. What Iowa town shares its name with an annoying Jim Carrey character who throughout two movies investigated crimes involving animals? What Ace I Ventura? Ventura. Saying, what's your answer? Ventura. Ventura is correct. Ventura. <laughs> well done. And uh, bandanas. What Iowa town shares its name with an annoying teenage teenager know-it-all from Star Trek The Next Generation, played by Will Wheaton. No guesses on this one? Looking for Wesley. Wesley, the town of Wesley, Iowa. And uh, Developmental Divas, it is your second to last question of the game right here. Suspense is on. All eyes are on you. Before Burlington-born quarterback Kurt Warner led the St. Louis Rams to a Super Bowl victory, he played for what college's football team? Played for an arena football team in between them, but what college did Kurt Warner play for? Cedar Rapids, Iowa native? Cedar Rapids, born in Burlington. University of Northern Iowa. That is correct, yes. <laughs> you and I. Well done. In bandanas, you and I player Ali Farokamanesh graced the cover of Sports Illustrated after making the shot that defeated what top seeded team in 2010? Missouri. Or, saying Missouri? Yeah. Actually, it was Kansas. It was the Kansas Jayhawks <sighs> last year. And, uh, Vemel and Divas, it is your final question of the game right here. Which of Iowa's neighbors was the next state to be admitted to the Union after Iowa? I'll give you five seconds. Nebraska? Actually, it was Wisconsin. <laughs> and uh, bandanas, what U.S. state was admitted to the Union almost exactly one year before Iowa became a state on December 28th? 1846. Give you five seconds. Missouri? Actually, it was Texas. Head south and find Texas, and that wraps up our round and wraps up our game. Stay tuned for our final score. We'll try to get it out there before uh, time elapses in the show. <laughs> Daniel, you are this week's smartest island. You guys, how does it feel? Pretty good. Thunderlining, you are this week's smartest islands. How's it feel? How's it feel? Are they watching? Watching the play? As we are back in our final score, it is a tie. 120 to 120. All right, here it is. The final score. Team one. Smartest Iowans! Congratulations! Yeah. <laughs> and how does it feel? Feels great! Awesome. How does it feel to share that t-shirt? I feel so smart right now. <laughs> we're both going to fit into it. We're, we're going to fit into it right now. Yeah. Put it on. Put it on. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for watching the Smartest Iowans. Bill's Coffee Shop. And uh, catch the show next time. I think uh, we're moving on from our Kirkwood tournament now, I believe. But uh, maybe we'll have some more Kirkwood episodes in the future. Uh, catch the show uh, every Wednesday on PA TV, Channel 18, Iowa City at 8 p.m. And if you would like to be a contestant, go to www.patv.tv. Catch us next time, everybody. Keep on watching PA TV. <laughs>